Well, Lila was in sixth place at the World Championship last month in, actually two months ago now, in Greensboro, North Carolina, not too far from here. She made it to the second to last obstacle, stage one. Now lining up toss-up. I wonder if we'll see some links, which it looks like we will, there Alex. Is. Lila, Lila is going all out on this course. She is determined to set an incredible time. Might want to put some of the men to shame while she's at it. This is looking to be a really fast time. 105 the time to be, and it looks like she's on pace for it, although having a little bit of trouble getting to that flywheel. There it is. Yeah, now coming into the warped wall. Oh, oh my goodness. There. Yeah, a bit of a stumble. Gonna take one more shot Thank at the 12 foot wall, just barely getting it. And Lila Atheson will be in the driver's seat heading into the challenge course. Of course, just all around such a solid run. It's really nice to see the Lynx coming out at such an early stage in this competition. I believe with the flywheel, they've actually got to travel further, it seems, than what our younger competitors had to. Going a bit too fast there into the warped wall, but managed to recover and still set the top time for the elite females as Lila Nathanson, now the most dominant female elite division competitor, steps up to the plate, looking to hopefully go further, secure our spot in the finals, and maybe we will see a course completion here. Finished sixth in the World Championship. Very impressive, as for the first time, we had three women hit the buzzer on stage one in the elite division, so Lila was right behind them. Just got the first, first switch up. This is looking good. Got, got the second. second. This is looking very strong. There you go. Yes. And Lila Nathanson's going to pick up the win, moving on to the finals as well. But so much more at stake here. Yeah, the, the job is not done as she gears up. Those grips in the teens division were even smaller, and it looks like they've adjusted them, being a bit kinder to our yeah. elite division ninjas. Uh, as at least for the, the female division. We'll see if they get even harder. Yes, I guess we will. Lila now coming into the Jumping Spider. We are now getting to see the back end of this course for the first time for the Elite Division. And it is brutal, Alex. Yeah, Lila opting to use the Spider Walls there. A lot of ninjas have been using that when they need to. Now we are going into Spinal Tap. This is just a pure arm burner. That's basically what it's designed to do. It's not necessarily the most technical obstacle, but it definitely gasses you out. Uh, as you come into the other obstacles in this run, and how quickly you get through it is key to how gassed you will be. Yeah, Lila is going to be the first and only woman all weekend to have to use the handles here on Spinal Tap. Very Although I true. I believe if I heard correctly, of... she's able to use the blackboard on her way down. We've seen different competitors use different strategies here, and this looks like Lila's going to be using both handles as she makes her way down the spot. Spinal tap. Yeah, she's I good. She's good. That's all good. Yes. Okay, now we're getting into the pointy end. This this is a devastator, Alex. This one this one ruins dreams. She took a sip of a drink there. Interesting. You don't see that very often. Now coming into cane slider. For those who haven't seen this obstacle, Lila has to grab the hook and transition into that hoop mid air. Oh, and she, and she almost had it. it. She, she's going to get one more go here. This is going to be her second and final attempt on Cane Slider. This has been a very difficult obstacle for our ninjas. Another, sip, another of sip of the drink. the water. <laughs> we'll have to ask her what's in that canister, if it's water or maybe an energy drink, some Gatorade. All right, let's see if it worked. Oh, it did! Yes! And Lila Nathanson beats the Cane Slider. This is the best run we've seen out of a woman today. And now has Alex, the opportunity some... to try to hit a buzzer. Now we are coming into Deja Vu, which is arguably one of the most difficult obstacles here. You have to... If, if things ha haven't changed, she will have to grab the ring above her, and I believe she's trying to pivot over the bar. Yeah, she's trying to do that rollover, now opting to do a leg hook. Okay, all legal. 20 seconds left. The time is running down. I don't know if this will be enough to get a finish. But she can try and move towards yeah. getting this obstacle finished. Having trouble reaching the back of that hook to try to make the sky hook move. And unable to reach it. By letter of the law, she has a retry, but with only two seconds left, she's going to tap out. 
after a tremendous run that will get her first place by five obstacles. Last week, we saw Madeline Medeiros with a huge statement run arriving on the scene, and I think Lila Nathanson has matched that feat. Yeah, Lila has proven that in the Premier Series final, she's going to be one to watch as she gears up to compete against the best 32 ninjas across the world in that final series.